So we're now we're going to make the teapot from our Alice's Tea Party origami set. So you take your teapot uh, origami paper, which looks like this, and you start with the word top facing up. We're going to fold along these dotted lines here along the diagonal in half. So crease it, and you can use a ruler like me to crease it. Open it back up and do the other corner. Fold it in half and open it back up turn it to the other side and we fold along these dotted lines in half and then again along that other vertical line in half next we're going to bring our a b c points down to point d and we start by bringing a and c down to d and then b will follow we can flatten it into this square. Next, we're going to fold along these dotted lines so that these outer edges meet in the middle, like this. Fold it inward so that the outer edges meet in the middle. And you flatten it with the ruler. And then we're going to bring the top down, crease it, and bring it back up, and open everything back up. Next, we're going to insert our fingers into the flap and bring this all the way to the top and push inwards the two sides so that we get this nice diamond shape. We're going to flip it to the other side and do the same thing. So fold inwards so that the outer edges meet in the middle. A bit. Open it back up, insert your fingers into the flap, and push the outside edges inwards as you lift the top flap. And you get this diamond shape here. Fold the front flap down and fold the back flap down. Next, we're going to fold along this dotted line backwards. So we're going to fold along the dotted line here, like this. And we're going to turn it 180 degrees like this. Next, we're going to bring down the front flap like this. And then we're going to insert our finger in between the flaps here. And we're going to do an inside reverse fold, which means we're just tucking in. Tuck in by pressing your, putting your thumb inside the uh, flaps and pressing down on the spine of this fold. So here's the dotted line we're supposed to be following. So we press along there until we see the dotted lines match up. Then we fold along those dotted lines and flatten like this. So that's an inside reverse fold. We do another insert reverse, uh, reverse fold on the left side along this dotted line. So this one will be higher, it won't be as low as this one. So we insert our thumb in and use our forefinger to press the spine downwards like this and follow the dotted lines and press down. So you see one that's higher and one that's lower. Next, we're going to open up this flap like we turn a page in a book and open that one. And we're going to fold along these dotted lines inward so that the outer edges meet in the middle. So we do a fold like this and a fold inward so that the two outer edges meet in the middle. And then on this side, we're going to fold along this dotted line inwards. This is gonna be the spout of the teapot. And then we fold along these two dotted lines inwards so they meet in the middle. Do not overlap your um, folds. Make sure there's a good gap in between so that when we fold it in half now, it won't pop back open. So like this. And at this point, 
to help it stay down, you can add a little piece of tape if you like. Um, and then on this side, we want to close it up like this. And we're going to do two inside reverse folds or one inside reverse fold and one reverse fold. So again, put your fing forefinger inside the folds and your thumb on the other side and push in and using your other hand to create a V shape is to go along those dotted lines and fold this upwards like that. Then we're going to do another one here, in between here, do another reverse fold and bring that tip down and following the V shape, flatten your paper so that we get a sort of handle. And again, if you wanted to use a little bit of tape to hold it into place, it would be much easier. Next, we fold down the top of the back along this dotted line, like this. Then we fold back up the front. We're going to fold along that dotted line backwards to lock in all the stuff inside. And then we're going to fold the along this dotted line at the back, back upwards to create the teapot lid, the, the handle of the, or the knob of the top lid, and fold it well, and then tuck in that last tip to get your lid knob at the top, and our teapot is finished.